Greetings everyone, this is Miss QT Style. Welcome back to my channel where I'm leading the way in fashion, beauty, and non-candy coated talk. And I come to you in this video um, just to speak on a few things. Um, first of all, um, I did a video two days ago, I think, about hoes, hoes, nothing but hoes, okay? And I knew when I made the video that it was would probably be a controversial uh, video or you know, um, people would have a lot to say about it. Um, so I blocked the video. I said, okay, let me not, I don't need this kind of drama on my channel. Um, let me block it. So I did that. But then last night I, um, opened it back up because I'm like, okay, I spoke on it. I shouldn't have to block anything, whatever. If people don't agree, whatever. And I, I, that's what I want to say, too. A lot of times when I do videos, I know that people are not going to agree with everything I say. And I don't expect them to. As I have in that video, my opinion and my opinion, and I am entitled to it. And other people are entitled to their opinion as well. Okay? And we can agree to disagree. Um, when I made that video, I was speaking on something I had been feeling for the last um, like couple of days. I needed to speak on it. So a lot of my videos or it's like um it's like a video diary. That's what it is. You know, I do makeup videos, I do fashion, I do little um, you know, skits, hauls and stuff like that. But then also every now and then you will see me doing a videos like that one. I was basically speaking out my opinion. And I am entitled to it. So, you know, I had a few comments under the videos. And, I, you know, fine. I, I saw what they, you know, said. I responded to some. But I just wanted to say this. Um, how can I say it? Um, people want to say that I am judgmental. Or imply that I am judgmental. Or... Yeah, they imply that I'm judgmental. And I just want to say that I am not judgmental. I think the word you guys are looking for is opinionated. Okay? I don't go around and just judge, judge, judge people and say, oh, you're wrong for this and you shouldn't do that. I don't do that. It has to be a specific subject or topic and then I will base my opinion on it. Okay? I guess judgmental and opinionated is kind of the same thing, but I would say I'm more opinionated. Okay? And as far as I would never be judgmental to people like that because I've been judged. I've been judged on this fucking YouTube 24 seven. And as I always say, I don't, I really don't give a fuck, but I've been judged on here. I know when I put myself out here on a video doing videos that people will judge me. People will say stuff, you know, they're going to critique me. They're going to say, Oh, I shouldn't have did this. I see it all the time on people's channels and stuff like that. But my channel like I said, I just explained what my channel is about. But everybody knows, welcome to my channel where I'm leading the way in fashion, beauty, and non-candy coated talk. So there will be some non-candy coated talk on the videos. I'm not on here to um, argue back and forth with people. You know, I respect your opinion. But just know that if you respond in a way that I feel that I need to respond back to it, I am going to do that. I'm going to respond back to it. Okay? Um... I don't have any problem with people not agreeing with what I say. What I do have a problem with, though, and I think I'm talking about you if you want to. It doesn't matter. But what I have a problem with, and I've said it before, is all the positive videos and, and videos with hauling and talking about makeup and happy videos and me going on my trip last week and my little niece um, talking and this and that. All these videos like this, certain people do not comment on. But they will comment on controversial videos, controversial videos that will start a debate. Like I say, I don't have no problem with debating. Okay? Not a problem. I actually should have been on a debate team in high school, but I wasn't. Um, but when I put topics out like that again, it's just me expressing what I feel. The problem I have is people seeming like I am not supposed to have an opinion about stuff. When here I am, I've been in the spotlight and people all on the videos talking about Miss QT style and this and that. 
people had opinions and judge judged me, but then when I have an opinion on something that they have nothing to do with, you know, I've been judged on here, people talking shit about me. I'm talking about stuff in my in everyday life that I saw when I did that video. I'm not talking about nobody in particular on here. I'm sorry if uh, me talking about hoes, hoes, nothing about hoes might have hit home. I don't know what's that about, but I am not talking about anybody particular on here. Yes, I have my opinion about hoes, and I still and I stick to it. Now, not that I have to explain myself, but when I say once a hoe, always a hoe, um, I didn't mean that that person couldn't change. A lot of people change. I know a few. Okay? What I meant was, though, even if you change, you're always going to be seen as a hoe. Okay? People going to always have in the back of their head, oh, yeah, that girl, that used to be out there bad. She was a hoe back in the day, she used to, but she didn't change her life. That's going to always be, and that is the fact. Okay? That's what I meant by it. Okay, now, um, last I check, a hoe ain't nothing to be, ain't nothing to be proud of being. I mean, I know and that's my opinion, maybe to you guys or some other people, being a hoe is the shit. But to me, being a hoe is nasty because for one, it's um, degrading. For two, being a hoe, you can get diseases. That's why a lot of us black women are out here with AIDS and this and that and the other from being hoes. Not, that's not the only reason, though, because there are some women that are not hoes who's contracting these diseases from their from their mates or from their boyfriends who've been in jail and stuff like that. But you got a higher risk when you're out there sleeping with so many different people. OK, and that's what I mean by hoe. I mean, hoes that sleeping with Tom today, Dick tomorrow, Harry in the next five minutes and then his cousin, then Dick, Dick, daddy, everybody. That's what I'm talking about when I say hoe. OK. And like I said, once a hoe, always a hoe. That's my opinion, and I am entitled to it. You guys are entitled to your opinion. That's neither here nor there. I don't care who don't agree with me on that. My thing is, this is my channel, and I have a right to speak about what I want to speak about. I go on other people's channels and stuff, and I see stuff on there. I'm like, I don't agree with that. You know what? I don't even say shit because I know that if I comment, I'm going to come off opinionated or judgmental, as you guys may say. And, and it may get into a debate. So if I know that the topic is sticky like that, I'm not doing it. I will, however, comment on more positive um, videos. And that's just me. I'm not saying everybody needs to do that. But that's just me. I, I, if I know that the topic is going to get heated, especially me, because I know that I am opinionated. I will say that. I am opinionated. And, hey, just like God, like I think somebody made a comment that God... Um, uh, something about Mary Magdalene, God loved her. Yes, God loved all of us, you know, and he loves me too. Me with my opinionated self. It's nothing wrong with being opinionated anyway, but it's not like I go around and be like, oh, oh, you in particular, you shouldn't do this. You should. I was speaking on a topic, a subject. Nobody knows what I've been dealing with in my life. Nobody knows with what I saw or who I know or some stuff. I just had to speak on it that day. And, you know, a lot of times there's a lot of videos I wanted to make on subjects like that, but I don't because uh, I know that it's going to cause controversy. And I really, really do not want that on my channel. But you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to make more videos like that. Actually, when I finish with this one, I'm going to make some more videos like that. But that's not all of my videos. Go check out my haul videos. Go check out my uh, fashion videos, my family videos, positive videos. Go check out my contests. I never see certain people under that video. But as soon as I make a controversial video talking about hoes, it seemed like now I'm being called judgmental. Now, I know, um, I mean, not too many people commented on that video, so I know people are going to go and see who I'm talking about. Um, that's just how I am. I'm just speaking in general because I don't have time to keep typing back and forth. I'm just saying, Trey Nidra, Miss QT Style, may be a little opinionated, but I'm opinionated over here on my channel. You don't see me going on other people's channel being opinionated. I don't do that. That's not how I roll. I'm speaking, you know, in general, and that's my take on hoes. And let, yeah, and I will say again, I have to say it again. Once a hoe, always a hoe. Okay? Once a hoe, always a hoe. Meaning that once, once you've been out there bad and people know that, people are going to just see you as that. A hoe. It shouldn't be that way. When people change, people should see them differently. But unfortunately, a lot of times they don't. You know, they probably will respect you more and be like, okay, yeah, this girl changed her life. But in the back of their heads, 
they're always going to be known as a hoe. So this, what I'm saying is, do not be a hoe. Respect yourself early on. You, there's no need for women or men, but I'm speaking to the women now because men going to do what they do. But it's no need for a beautiful woman to be out there being hoish. There's no need for that. Yeah, some people are out there being hoish because they've been through stuff in life. Or they think that's the only way to get a man and all that. That's not so. You know, I, I get where y'all were coming from when I said that. I, I don't want y'all to think that I'm telling people that once they're a hoe, they can't change or they can't be seen as different. That's not what I'm saying. People will see you differently, but they still will think. And remember when you were out there bad. So don't do it. That way, give them something positive to remember you by. Be positive. Stop out being out there sleeping and tricking and, and doing all kinds of stuff with different guys. It's not cute. It's not getting you anywhere. So if you think that, you know, doing that and being, you know, like, for instance, I know a hoe right now. Ain't got a car. Ain't got a place to stay. Uh, and no job. If you're going to be a hoe, be a good one. You know what? That's a whole nother different subject, and I don't want to contradict myself, but I was just being stupid there. But, I mean, you're out, that's what I'm saying. It's not getting you anywhere. It's just giving you a bad name, okay? So, yeah, I just wanted to come and say that, um, and that's just my opinion on some things. I am opinionated, so be it. But I'm opinionated on my channel. You don't see me going around on everybody's channel, and I know I'm repeating myself, but I have to make that point. I'm not being opinionated on other people's, um, excuse me. I'm not being opinionated on other people's um, chain, channel. I'm just talking in a video. And actually, I'm coming back, like I said, with another video. Stay tuned. <laughs>